This has been the scenario in many parts of the country. Thousands of liters of illicit brew destroyed following a crackdown ordered by President Uhuru Kenyatta Ali this month. Also not spared during the now month, long raids are companies producing brews said to fall under the second general category. And with the task force that is expected to deal with those manufacturing receipt brews having been gazetted on the 10th of this month, Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri once said to swing into action without much ado. We decided to go legal, to put in the legal framework so that... Um, Nobody should take us to court. I mean, uh, we need to be careful so we don't go beyond the law. The task force, which includes officials from Kenya Revenue Authority, Kenya Bureau of Standards and Security Agencies, will begin a nationwide inspection exercise on all factories manufacturing liquor with immediate effect. Kayseri is, however, warning that those operating against the law will be firmly dealt with. We want this task force to move out and look out, map out the country, who is manufacturing what, and so that immediately the uh, KRA and cabs, once they give those licenses, then we have really no problem about uh, who is doing the right thing and who is doing the wrong things. And with claims of some company getting protection from the police, Kayseri defended security officers saying they have done a commendable job and is calling on anyone who has such information to report it to relevant authorities. The task force is expected to give its recommendations in a fortnight.